I'm Chris Dobell, otherwise known as Gringo Moco. Uh, I'm 25 years old. Applied and got into Ohio University. Had never been there, never went there to check it out first. It was just like, all right. It has screenwriting, film, creative writing. It had like all these majors that I thought I was going to be in back in the day. So I was like, I'll just go there and it'll work out. It was cool. I enjoyed going. Got there. It was cool. It was all like, it was all snazzy and stuff. Um, I went on a bunch of scholarships because it was an out-of-state school, so that made it easier to go. So at some point in that like road, I kind of was like, all right, well, I want to be in Latin, Southern or Latin America. I was like, want to be in a Spanish-speaking country. So I started asking all my professors, so what kind of job opportunities? Because that's where you're supposed to go to if you're asking or curious about jobs and stuff. Ask your professors because they're supposed to know. Well, asked them and they did know, but all of the job opportunities they would tell me about, like routinely, it didn't matter who it was, would it was like oil or mining. I had nobody on my team, and I became unpopular in the geology community there, at least, because I was all just like art-minded and like want to use geology for art and not for explo exploitation. Ohio is probably not the place. Like when I found what I actually wanted to do and stuff, I was like, oh, Ohio is not the place because they don't have an environmental geology program. So I started hanging out with people that were like very much nomads and started traveling with them just like up and left school. It was kind of like, I don't know, two weeks of traveling, maybe three weeks of being gone from school. Wow, it was so great. I've never jumped on a freight train. I've never hitchhiked. And so starting to jump on freight trains and be like, wow, this is the best way to travel. I, would, I don't want to travel any other way. I want to travel like this. And seeing just how much fun it was, how great my dreams were and stuff, because you have the like, kum 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 in your dreams all the time. I don't know, it's just, it was fascinating. Open my, open my world a little bit. That's what I wanted to do and learn, just kind of like be in another community and see what life is like in different environments. I don't regret taking time off of my formal education and putting more time into my informal education because that turned out being the best education I've gotten. It just was more beautiful than all of my education combined. I just decided to leave. The best option, what I wanted to do in any shape or form was be in Central and South America.